Hey guys, how's it going? Paul Harris here, and in today's video we're talking Excel again. It's a Saturday, I'm trying to make an Excel video every Saturday that helps finance analysts, accountants, auditors, anyone really in the finance profession. I'm trained as a financial accountant, so that's why I'm bringing you Excel tips. Today I'm going to talk about how you can convert a list of data into several tabs, okay? This is really just like tricks and tips when it comes to Excel. This is a fast way of doing it. You generally find when you're using different reports and different Excel workbooks that people have split data into several different tabs. Now, it can be a laborious task to split up this data manually, doing each tab at a time. So I'll bring together how you can actually change the data from a list into several tabs and then consolidate that data into one tab. Okay, it'll make sense when you actually see the video. <laughs> but with that being said, let's jump right into it. Here we go. Okay, so here we are in Excel, and as you can see here, we have a set of data, a very normal set of data that you would see if you were reviewing financial information, except the product here is apples, pears, and mangoes, and you have revenue, cost of sale, and profit. So let's say you want to split these out into different tabs. So you want to have the financial information in month format in the apple tab, the pears tab, and the mangoes tab. And you don't want to have to manually split out this data. You want it to just be a very quick process. So I'm going to show you the quickest way of doing this, in my opinion. So first thing you want to do is actually pivot this data, okay? So insert pivot data, okay, creates a new tab. Then you start, okay, so you have the original pivot format. What you wanna do is bring in the months into the rows. You wanna then choose revenue, cost of sale, profit. And then you want the different kind of product types. And you want the product types going across the categories. So there you have the set of data that you basically want to split out into different tabs. And you wanna do this in a very quick way. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add a separate row on row two, which basically just says revenue, cost to sale and profit. So there you have what is beginning to look like a field that would help you do a sum if formula. So the next thing you wanna do is you have all these tabs, you see empty tabs here, all apple pears, all empty. And what you wanna do is highlight all the tabs. So this is the main trick. You wanna highlight all the tabs and you wanna create then whatever the format is gonna be across each of the tabs. So it's good to standardize each tab the exact same way, and this is the quickest way to do it. So you wanna create the tabs by going Jan, Feb, and you wanna go right down to December, similar to what the pivot shows. And then you wanna go across and say, revenue, cost of sale, profit. So there you have a template, but because you highlighted all the tabs, it highlighted and created the exact same fields within each of the individual tabs. See, you've got apple, pears, mangoes, you now have the exact same format. The next thing you wanna do is on the apple, pears, and mangoes, you want to title these the same as what the tab says. So apple, there, you wanna go across and type in pears here, and mangoes, so each of these files, each of these tabs has the name of the fruit. Now what you can do is create a sum if formula across each of the three tabs at the same time. So highlight each of the three tabs, and now go sum ifs, sum ifs because you're gonna do two fields, then go across to sheet one, and you wanna select first the values that you wanna pick up, and you want to fix these on columns so you can drag across. Then the next thing you wanna do is pick up the criteria one, which is gonna be revenue, cost, sale, profit, and you wanna fix that completely, okay? So you wanna say dollar sign B, dollar sign two, and then dollar sign J, dollar sign two, which basically is gonna fix it whenever you pull across the formulas. So you wanna go back to the tab that you're creating the formula on, and you wanna select revenue, don't you? And you wanna fix this on C3. So when you drag down, you want the row number to be fixed, okay? It doesn't matter about the column, because as you drag across, the column you want to change, you want to fix the rows going down. So you fix it so it says C$3. Then you want to create the criteria number two. So go back to the pivot and you see here it says apple to pears. You want to select that amount of area and you fix that row as well. Then you go back to the mango and then you select the mango in B3. 
And now you fix that completely, because as you move across, you want it to always be fixed on Mango. Then you close brackets. But the difference here is you need to go through then and manually delete the bit that says Mango, okay? And the exclamation mark. Because that is picking up the tab name. You don't want that to pick up the tab name, you just want it to pick up the cell B3. Then you press Enter, and you see here it's created the Summit formula within the Mango tab. Now when you drag across using this formula and drag down, it's picking up the values from the pivot table. But the more important thing is, it's actually picking up the same values for pears and apples. You see, it's, it's, it's created the same Summit formula across three tabs. But because you've deleted the section that talked about it selecting from Mango Sheet, it then created the formula that was usable across all three tabs. What we haven't focused on is the All tab. So the All tab is blank because all we did was highlighted the Apple, Pears and Mango tabs. So next you want to actually create an All tab which is going to pick up the values from each of the three tabs. Now, of course, we could go back and just pick up straight from the pivot table, but often at times you haven't created this from the pivot table. You might just want to have an All tab that selects from the values from several different tabs and you might not have a pivot table that you can just nicely go to. So the way you do this is create a sum formula. But you know when I said you want to create all the tabs so it's standardized, you have the same revenue for January in the same section of the tab. Now you go to say the Apple tab and you just select cell C4. So you want to select, you know, the January revenue figure. And let's press enter for now. And here you see you picked up the January uh, revenue figure for the Apple tab. But now what you can do is you know how if you were to do a sum formula and select across rows and you would do C4 to say D4, what you can do now is actually do the same thing across tabs. So you do Apple semicolon and now you type in Mango. And you see here it's created a sum formula, instead it's almost it's going across tabs now, it's not going across rows or columns, it's going across tabs. You're adding up everything that is in cell C4 across those number tabs. And of course if you drag across and down, you're going to be picking up all the values that are in each of the individual tabs. Now if you, what you can do is highlight all from all to mango, all the tabs, and you can even format, so you can format like this to make it look a little bit nicer. And now if you go into each of the different tabs, you can see it says all, that's picking up all the revenue. Apple, pears, mangoes, and you have the pivot table you're picking up from and the data. So now you can go through each of the tabs and analyze it and create the formulas. You know, you could select across here and add in, you know, a, 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 another formula that picks up the percentage difference or what the profit margin is, for instance. And that's just a good way there, and I find the fastest way of editing across tabs without having to manually go into each of the tabs individually. So there we are, hopefully that's useful. Coming at you with more tips every Saturday from my 10 years of financial analysis career, basically. Small tips, chunk it up into different little YouTube videos to make it easy watching for you guys at home. <laughs> so there we are. Thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, more Excels to come. If that's your kind of thing, subscribe. I also make on weekdays, Tuesdays and Thursdays, investment support, you know, company analysis, stuff like that. So if that's your kind of thing, check that out. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.